Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of my surf fishing adventure down in Panama City Beach. If you saw part one, you noticed that most of the catches we made were of an evening. Now, I did fish every single morning we were there at sunrise, and of the entire week, I only caught one fish of a morning, which you're about to see here in just a second. But one thing I didn't go over in the first video was basically what I was using for bait. It, it was pretty obvious it was shrimp. And it's just frozen shrimp out of the grocery store. I didn't go to a bait store or anything like that. It's just frozen shrimp right out of the freezer section at the local grocery store. Now, the other thing I was using, fish bites. Now, this is a synthetic bait, a scent bait. It's got a uh, mesh cloth in the middle of it, which means it it does not come off the hook. You have to have scissors to get it off the hook. But it puts a pretty strong shrimp scent in the water. So like I said, one fish of a morning, gonna show that to you right now. Oh golly, look at that book. There we go, there we go. That feels like a pretty good fish. And I just knocked my sand spike over. Oh yeah, that's a, fit, that's a pretty good fish right there. At least he's pulling like he's a pretty good fish. Oh my goodness, did he just come off? Please tell me he didn't come off. Uh, no, I still got him. Yeah, he's, yeah, I still got him. Yeah. Ah, oh, blue fish looks like. That is my fifth hour, I should say fifth species. Oh, and he just come, get up there. And I gotta be careful, cause these things got teeth. This is a blue fish. <laughs> This is a blue fish right there. Uh, I'd, I'd wash him off, but I'm afraid he'd come out of my hands as soon as he hit the water. These things get much bigger than this. There we go, see, okay. See if you can hear him, hear him croaking. <laughs> that is a blue runner. Meryl, or uh, I think that is. If, if I'm wrong about that, tell me. I don't think it's a bonita. I, uh, I think it's a bluefish. But, shoo, that made the morning worthwhile. Let's get him back. Now, I did some research. That is a blue runner. That's what it is called. It's not a bluefish. Blue runner is a smaller fish than the bluefish. But, Hey, I don't know my saltwater fish real well. Now the rest of the catches are of an evening. Let's get to it. Oh, there's a fish. Yeah, there's a fish. There's a fish. Something, I don't know what. Yeah, there's something on there. Yeah. Did he come off? Did he come off? Nope. It is a stupid catfish. A stupid, stupid catfish. That right there is probably what's been stealing our bait. This thing sticks you and you will feel it for days. And I ain't touching this guy at all. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 
I am not touching this guy. Let go. Get back out there. There you go. Ugh, hate them things. Well, that's actually, if you want to think about it, that's species number six. <coughs> but if I'm on the kitties tonight, I don't know. I guess it's better than nothing. All right, something is playing with this rod, but not wanting to commit, as has been everything to see, to see, there he goes again. Oh, there I got him. There I got him. Oh, that's, yeah, I got him that time. I got him that time. Oh, and he's, he's pulling pretty good too, whatever he is. Please, I hope it's not another catfish. He's pulling pretty good, whatever he is. Good head shake. Maybe another pompano, actually. Where's he at? Did he come off? Oh, no, he's still there. Yeah, he's still there. I just felt the head shake. I just don't know where he's at. Yep. Oh, another bluefish. Get up here out of the water. Oh, he just come unhooked. <laughs> Let's see if I can get him. Ah, there we go. Okay, let me angle my light. There we go. Little bluefish. I hear they're good eating. Don't know for a fact, but uh, put up a good fight. So, pretty little fish. All right, let's let him go. Let me get this back so nobody steps on it. <clears throat> Thank you, my friend. Okay, this happened so fast, my spike just about went in the water and I have no idea what I have on the line here, but it just about pulled my whole rod in. And I hope he's still, hit. oh, there he is. Yeah, he's still on there. Ladyfish, I can see the eyes. That is a big ladyfish. Yep, golly. Boy, come back here. Get up here on the beach. Yeah, there he is. I want you to look what it did to my sand spike. Goodness gracious. <laughs> there he is. Man, you wanted that, didn't you? I can't want to get my pliers. Golly, you're hooked good. Shoot, clean them off in a second. See a ladyfish? <laughs> it's called a ladyfish. Ladyfish, yeah, I'm sorry to blind you. I can't turn my head. Wow. That's what we were seeing earlier. Yeah, they've, I've seen about three or four of them when I was out there on the sandbar today. Ooh. He about yanked my whole pole in the water. Sorry, I don't mean to blind you. No, I <laughs> but. I wear one of them occasionally too. I <laughs> yeah, he's bleeding. I can better get him back in the water. But there it is. Nice little ladyfish. See you, my friend. Thanks for the fight. That ends my surf fishing week in Panama City Beach. Really enjoyed it. If you have never tried this, if you and your family go to the beach every single year and you never took a fishing rod, 
I highly recommend it. You never know what you're going to catch. Um, it's very simple, very basic, shrimp for bait, get you some fish bites and just sit back and let the fun happen. But I'm home now, can't wait to get in the river, do what I love to do, do what I do best, and that's trout fish. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do it now. We're back home, gonna be in the river. We'll see you on the next one.